welcome back to my channel be for real i am brit so today wait first subscribe 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 make sure you are subscribed to my channel be sure to turn your notifications on so you do not miss any of my uploads but today today we are making vegan barilla tacos okay so first things first let me just have a little disclosure i am not hispanic I am not Latino. I am not Spanish speaking. Okay. So if I butcher some words, forgive me. That's all I ask. So I'm not going to ramble. We are going to go ahead and hop right into the video. So real quick, before we go any further, I just want to correct myself. It is Bidia Tacos, but Consume. Not Berea, but Bidia. Okay. Two years of Spanish in high school ain't do a ting for me. Okay. Not a thing. So here, it is traditionally made with lamb. In my research, that's what I found. It's traditionally made with lamb. But we are going to be using oyster mushrooms for our vegan rendition of this Mexican dish. So here, I have already rinsed my oyster mushrooms and I'm just shredding them. This is probably the most time-consuming part. But y'all, it is a labor of love and it's worth it. Now, my local farmer's market always has oyster mushrooms on deck. If yours does not or if your local supermarket does not, you can always substitute for jackfruit or hibiscus flour, which is also known as jamaica. Those are suitable meat substitutions, so don't say. I can give y'all no options, okay? Y'all can always use those in place of the oyster mushrooms if you would like. So fast forward, this is what your oyster mushroom should look like, nice and shredded. We are going to go ahead and make like a little marinade, if you want to call it. We're going to use some apple cider vinegar, as well as a little bit of oil, a little bit of salt, a little bit of garlic powder. We are going to get that popping right up in our mushrooms, and we are going to refrigerate this. So I would say you could put this aside while you're making the rest of your ingredients. I actually had some time, so I did it overnight, but you do not have to. You can set it aside while you're making the stew, okay? Okay. So, moving right along, we are using pasilla, guajillo, and chili de arbol chilies to get our consomme or soup popping or stew. Child, I don't know. I know one of my Hispanic brothers or sisters will correct me in the comments. So, I will be using 10 guajillo chilies, 2 pasilla chilies, and 3 chili de arbols okay so the chili de arbol i know i'm pronouncing it wrong but i'm only using three of those because they pack a lot of heat so i just want it a little spicy not like overly spicy so if you are sensitive to spice um and you want more of a mild flavor then i wouldn't do the chili arbol at all okay i would just leave it out leave it out it's okay. So here I'm just de-seeding all the peppers. I'm just removing the stems, opening them up, and taking the seeds out. Self-explanatory. The chili, they are bowls are small, so I did not de-seed them. I left them as is. So you should have something like this in the end. You're just going to discard this, throw this in the trash. You don't need it. And that's it. Like, we're moving right along. See? It's not that bad. Pretty simple. All right, y'all, so this is where the magic is going to happen. The consomme or the stew, if you will, is what makes this recipe. So we are starting off with eight cups of water. Keep in mind, the link to the full recipe will be in the description box below, as well as the resources I use to recreate this recipe. So I'm starting off with a half an onion. We're putting all our chili pods in here. And we're also going to throw in three bay leaves as well as seven garlic cloves. We are going to get this broth popping and i've seen this made with beef and i've seen them just use the juices from the beef so instead of veggie broth i am going to use a not beef vegan bouillon cube today to get this broth right i'm also going to crack in a little black pepper i'm not going to put any salt in yet because i don't want to over salt this i'm going to add salt in other areas but we are going to bring this up to a boil in order to soften our chili pods so i am going to toss that in our blender after about eight minutes i did let this cool off before I blended it. Just a little tip. You do not want to blend your chili pods hot. You want to wait for them to cool off. So in our blender here, we have our chili pods, our garlic cloves that we had in the pot, as well as our bay leaves. We are adding in some seasonings. I have some cumin, some thyme, some oregano, white vinegar, and about two cups of our broth that our chili pods was cooked in. 
okay? So I know what y'all thinking if y'all are not familiar with this dish. We gonna blend the bay leaves. Yes, yes we are. And I'm gonna tell y'all right now, it's gonna get this recipe together, the bay leaves matter. So here I just pour all of our blender contents into my strainer just to get a nice smooth broth. You see how all the seeds and everything was in there? Yeah, we had to get rid of that. So we strained this and look at this, nice and smooth. Now real quick, I know before I used to joke about, you know, people needing to grow up if they did not like onions. And I just wanted to tell y'all today that today I mean it. Like you really have to grow up and I don't want to be a bully so I'm not going to dwell on this too long I just can't help but to think about all of the deliciousness that you may be missing out on because you won't grow up like okay I'm gonna leave it alone because at this point it's your loss but I'm just letting y'all know right now this onion and the onions the subsequent onions that come after this bring this entire dish full circle you need it it is needed and it is very necessary all right and rant I'm done <laughs> so moving right along we are going to just add in a little bit of salt and I'm going to flick my wrist on this get everything nice and incorporated throw our lid on bring this to a boil and then I'm going to turn the heat down and let this simmer for about an hour let those seasonings and this juice get nice and marinated you want everything to marry together. So now let's head back over to our oyster mushrooms so I did just go ahead and put these in a frying pan in a single layer we're just going to go ahead and cook them down for about eight to ten minutes i got these on medium high heat so they're going to cook pretty fast but i just want to get a little char on them i don't want them to be soft like how they are in their original state so i just am going to cook these down let them get a nice little char on them before we add them to the stew so y'all see what i mean you see how it's getting all golden and crisp Mm, yep, just like that. So I'm going to go ahead and take these right off the fire. We're not going to like cook them down too much. We're just going to go ahead and cook them down just enough. And we're going to add them to the soup. Stew. Constant. Y'all. <sighs> y'all know what I mean. Y'all. <laughs> y'all. 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 Come on now. Let the church say amen. Okay. You feel me? Like, bro, I'm only hyped because I tasted it already. Y'all know I didn't eat this already. I ain't got the lot of y'all. And it is so good, but like, ugh. At this point, like, while your soup is simmering, your house should smell amazing. But I don't want to just sit here and salivate with y'all, so we're going to move right along. I do you know what time it is? Tell me, do you know? Do you know what time it is? Child, it is time to make these tacos. Let me, child, I am hype. Let me relax. So real quick, y'all, this is the cheese that I decided to use. Don't matter what you use. You can use whatever you like, but I decided to go with the Vio Life cheddar slices and then the field roast chow slices. And I just uh, cut that up. I didn't put that on hold just for those in the back who might think I did. So we have our grease pan here. I did take some of the broth and put it in a bowl on the side. That is what we're going to use to dip our tortillas in. So right here, you're just going to see me dip the tortilla. We are going to fully coat that. And I do have my pan on about medium high. We want a nice hot pan. Not too hot, but hot nonetheless, if that makes sense. So we have our tortilla fully covered here. So I'm just going to go ahead and lay that right in our pan. Boom. Now, the tradition to this dish is to fry the taco. So, we are going to go ahead and flip this onto the other side and assemble our taco. It is very, very simple. It's just the cheese that you desire. You're going to add on some cilantro, some onion, and our mushroom meat. And that is it. Okay? We are keeping it very simple. And we are going to go ahead and let that cook down. Let our cheese melt into this delicious Yo, I'm getting hungry. I'm about to go make. I'm about to. I'm about to go make this again. I literally can make this every week. I feel like I'm gonna be making this once a week. All right. So now for the finishing touches, I just had this random ramekin laying around. So I am going to put my soup that I'm going to dip with into this, and I'm just spooning this in here. Nothing special, and I'm just going to add some cilantro and some onion on top, and that is it. Boom. We are ready. We're ready to eat. Okay. Y'all. 
Yo, yo. Hold on, let me bring the, let me bring the camera down. Okay, don't mind my little work table. I be I be doing stuff. But y'all, y'all, y'all. <laughs> I probably somebody in the comments count how many times I say y'all because y'all, <laughs> bro, bro. Okay, real quick. So before we get started, because this food looks so good, I just feel like y'all need to hear my prayer because we have to pray over this food. Like, all right, by your head. Dear God, thank you for blessing these hands, but also thank you for blessing them hands that made this first and gave me the ability to recreate this. Vegan, of course. Also, thank you for this food that is about to nourish my soul and bless my taste buds. It is very much appreciated in your name. I pray. Amen. All right, y'all. So, let's, let me bring the dip to y'all. Man, child is focusing on me and it needs to focus on the, hold up, hold up. I gotta stop. Okay. <clears throat> Ain't no shame in my game. Shoot. If y'all know what I know when y'all make this, y'all better get a bib too. Okay. Mm. Child, this tastes like I just half out God himself. Who? I need to know who did this. Because, bruh, never in my wildest dreams have I ever thought that this was possible. That's so good. into no meme y'all all right but like y'all can't even see it bro. Bro, 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 bro. i feel bad for y'all because y'all probably not eating this right now that's how good this is mm -hmm. i low-key got survivor's guilt but not really All right, y'all, thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna go ahead and finish off my last taco and my uh, consomme, okay? So, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it as always. Be sure to check out the description box below to have all the details on the recipe today and the sources that I use to even create this recipe because I do give credit where credit is due, okay? And thank you guys as always for watching. I truly appreciate it. I will see you guys in my next video.